Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to introduce one new series which is ServiceNow development where we are going to learn about ServiceNow scripting, ServiceNow client side and server side, how we can learn script from scratch. Scratch means you can learn script without having any prior knowledge to JavaScript. So in the market, people might be confused that we should know JavaScript to learn service now. It's not like that. You should know some part of JavaScript, which I will be teaching you in this entire course. And to be very frank, service now works on Rhino Java library. So there's a search engine. You can see uh, there's a Rhino search engine or Rhino library where JavaScript is used. But that script is called Glide family. So we basically deal about the Glide family of JavaScript. So if you're not part of JavaScript background or any technical background, doesn't matter. In this particular video, I will show you how to write a single line of a code in ServiceNow without having prior knowledge to it. So please stick to this video and we'll get back to the course. So basically ServiceNow development. In this part, we are going to cover ServiceNow's client side scripting, ServiceNow server side scripting. Now, if you know both of this, you will be called as a full stack developer in service now. For example, if somebody knows about client side, that is called front end. And if somebody knows about server side, that is called back end. So I'll tell about all those options, but let me show you something on the screen. So I have prepared one small document for you, which is service now development. And if you notice, if I go back to the next page, it is showing you service now scripting, which is basically divided into two half. As I said, client side and the server side. So basically, typically client side is of two types where we will learn about client script and UI policy where we will not write script and even this section where we can write scripts. I'll talk about this later. Server side, we have these many places and we have much more scheduled jobs. All those part I am going to cover. So we have five places where mostly we use server side of a scripting. So we'll start with one side. Let's take client side first, then we'll go with the server side. So to see the client side, basically client side is divided into four types. Again, what is client side first? So basically client side is your browser. Whatever you see in front of your screen, currently whatever you are seeing in my video, this all lies under client side on the browser side. And what you don't see, the servers, the data, that is called your server side. So don't get confused. Whenever you do any changes on the front end, front end is something which you see currently. Let's say you open your mobile phone, you open a WhatsApp. WhatsApp itself is a client side. But if you type a message, but you don't know how the message is being transferred. So let me explain you in another way. Let me go back to service now. Okay. And uh, let me go to Google, for example, google.com. So what I'm doing, I am typing google.com over here. And Google is giving me this web page, correct? This web page is given by Google. So this web page, which we are seeing is called client side. And the one which we are not seeing, like once I hit the URL, what is happening that we don't see in the backend that is called you server side. The server side always deal with the servers and the database. If you try to manipulate the data, we are going to learn server side. But if you try to beautify your page, you try to make uh, some changes on the user interface UI that is termed as your client side. So don't forget it. So we'll start with the client side. So in client side, we'll go back to our PPT. In client side, we have four types on load, on change, on submit, and on sell edit. To understand this, we will write some logic in ServiceNow client side, which we are going to discuss today. So that logic, I'm going to show you right away, but always remember client side will always work on the client machine at your browser. Currently, if you're sitting in front of your laptop, if you are browsing something, you're doing nothing, you are just viewing the page, viewing the videos is nothing, but you are working on the client side. But in the back end, your data is getting consumed and you are connected to the internet. That is the back end which you don't see physically. But you can see your data is getting uh, reduced by some MBs every time. So how this is happening, how uh, the data is stored in the database, this all comes under the server side. So we'll talk about this later. So we'll go back 
to our service now and on this service now we will first type client script once you type client script you will get this option under system definition as i mentioned these are called modules in service now if i open this client script you will notice very simple i have 100 and, sorry 1723 client script in front of my screen these are already existing which service now has given me but we'll create our own we'll click on new and we'll start creating our client script so this is the interface of the client script which you are currently seeing the client script and these are the names these are tables these are ui policy, ui types so all we will discuss but this particular course is only for those who have already knowledge in admin service now admin so those who don't have the knowledge in admin they can go back and watch the admin series which is currently going on and those who already have the knowledge on admin and they started they started to develop the, the career in service now development as well as they wanted to enhance their skills in service now they can watch this video so on this part we are going to write client side of a script so this is the service now form we will write the script so let's type test client script and table so on which table you want your script to execute so as i mentioned in service now everything is table your user your uh, incident your problem your change everything in service now is table so you have to select the table name so in my case let me select very simple table called incident so I'm going to select incident table over here. If I select incident table, you will notice the table name is coming up on the top incident. Now, UI type. Second type, second third column here is UI type. Asking me where you want your script to execute on the desktop or on the mobile phone or on the service portal or everywhere. Basically, whatever you see in service now on the desktop part is called backend view but what clients see is always the service portal and how service portal look like let me show you right away so i will do one thing i'll duplicate it and i will remove this part and i will just type service portal sp on the url if i type sp you will notice this is taking me to the service now home page where we can see how service now front end look like see this is the complete ui page of service now where your end user will request something if i click on request something i will get a catalog if i go back for example over here if i want to seek some help from service now i will click on this get help so these are all under the client side whatever you see in front of your screen that's why this is asking you whether you want to put only on the desktop means on the back end view or on the service portal and on the mobile application so we have service now mobile application also so if you download that from the play store app store if you can log into service now mobile application so that script will also be applied to the mobile so in your case in my case i will be selecting always all so let's apply this to everyone everywhere and now the type here is on load if you select on load you will notice automatically a script syntax and everything is coming up on your screen function on load so we'll discuss about this but there are four types you see on load on change on selected and on submit these are the four types of client script existing in service now so to use this four kind of a client script you need to come to this client script and the table name is script client script so in the next video i will talk about with the scenarios real type how to write a script in service now on load on change on selected and on submit so stay tuned guys we'll come back with a new video on the new series learn service now scripting from zero so thank you guys we'll meet